Alright, that was good YouTube. It's your boy Jamal here. Today this video is about how to do so many vacants. I've been getting a lot of requests asking and questions asking me how I do so many vacants. My like my way I guess. I don't know about any other way, but how I put videos together, how I make my videos quality look so good. And how I do effects. <clears throat> I guess I'll just talk about all that, but um First of all, I'm gonna just teach you the basics for a day. No, some people don't know how to do it, but I'll just teach the basics. Um, first thing, important thing of all things, you wanna make sure your music goes with your video at all times. Make sure your video goes with your music. So, um, skip. I guess it's just pull back from every song. I don't have any music on here. This song, I'm not sure if this song goes with this video, but I mean, it goes with this picture. But, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, shit. Alright, well, that's the payola. But first thing, you want to make sure your properties. Right click that, click it. You want to uncheck this right here. Uncheck this. Uncheck that. This is going to make your picture a little wider, a little bigger. The right size to make it fit to the screen the majority of the time. But um, once you get that, you, well, then you can start adding your picture. That's just like a little self evaluation thing. But um, next, but then you want to click this little spot right here. Next, um, this is to label and make your pictures more um like spaced out like you see on my screen how it's like moving my screen. So um you wanna do this? You can make it any size you want to so you can kinda play with it. You can make it bigger, you can make it wider. And these are your uh this is make it like lock. So if if I wanna just like make it wider real quick or some shit. I could do that if you want to do at the right position. All you're gonna do is lock it. This one is just to um, like expand it, I guess. I'm not, I haven't really used that one, so I'll use that default. But this one is to make sure you don't want it to go like all over your stuff. So this is like you can go straight over, like a straight line over, or you can use this to go straight down. So that's just that one. And this one is just to um, zoom in and stuff. I'm not sure about that one, so I don't mess with that one all the time. But other thing, if I'm using this right here, this is your main key to as well. If you, the more closer it gets, the more faster it's gonna get. So if I put it like right here, like straight close by thing, and I move it like right over, you just can see when video first starts. You can make it kind of go fast. But that's how long this um, clip is. So this clip is just like one minute. So it's gonna go kind of slow. But if I put it like, um, say about ten seconds, you put it about right here. See how fast it goes right there. But if you put it, the more farther you put it, the more slower it's gonna get. So I'm gonna just put it like right here in the middle. Show you how it is. So as you see right there, it's a little bit slower, but. If you put it all the way back here, it's gonna go in extra slow, so that's how it is. <coughs> Alright, next one. Um, your video effects. Um, I would say you might want to um, download New Blue FX because they have a lot of. Um, effects that you can download as you can see I have a lot of effects I got them all from new Blue. um if you first download it's gonna be a trial but you might want to go to YouTube you know YouTube can show you different um how to get it to the actual version like the if you can crack it uh, with a Kijin or something that you want to you can do that but um, I'm not gonna link that one I'll link the new Blue effects but I'm not gonna link um, that Cause I'm not sure some videos be viruses or some shit. I don't wanna mess fuck up your computer. I blame it on me, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I have different effects. Main one 
I use sometimes is the after camera. So after camera is a big part. So use um jack camera. These are just to get your videos jumping, you know, make them get them the excited for you know, the video. So Sound guy. Alright, these are just basically get your videos crunk. I know that's an old word, but I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna get your videos turned up basically. Um, you know, you can use all these videos and do all that. Use um, TV simulator just to give you that little TV look. So. Gonna look like that. Let's see if you get the one I got. So, you know, all I'm asking about that. And people ask me how do I make my videos flicker. Um, I I got my um I got this some mistake from some dude on YouTube. I can try to research them up real quick. After I link them in the description, and you might want to subscribe to him. You know, let's see how he gonna be out. I might as well um, get the help from y'all as well. But these right here, these are my flickers that I use. All these, just these little um, part right there. And now I have all these little action shakes, and I have like the twitch. Um, I have all these other ones. I don't have them. I didn't get all of them, but I just wanted the ones I wanted in the video because I don't want like all of the quick tone of videos just to change the color because I can do that myself. You know, it's not nothing really about it, but. Once you get that one, you just want to follow the steps of his video and he'll show you how to get all the stuff correctly. And once you get it, it's going to be downloaded. You're going to want to go to this little square right here. And it's going to pull this up. And you're going to want to go plug and chain. And once you get here, you can, um, it's going to have like a whole list of, it depends on how much you get, how much you get. So I'm going to click this one. And it just changes the color. You can see right there how my uh, flickers a little bit. But if you wanted to get like a dark new video or you know like all that weed kind of shit, I guess you can get the physical one. That's the good part about that. Next, um, it's like a um, flicker up top, so it's not really good. That's how to get that one. Alright, next. Yeah. The transitions. The transitions can play a big part too, as well, but it really doesn't, but it can. But, um, it's like different things. Like, I'm gonna see this one. Some of these I haven't used before, but I will plan on to use them in the future. But, you know, uh, let me put it back on. Let me talk to myself. See right there how it makes a little uh, jumping thing? So, uh, whatever translation you use, just make it look good. It don't gotta be perfect. You, know, you might wanna be perfect, but it doesn't have to. I just depend on how you make it. Oh yeah, these, if your video, your computer is kind of slow, you might want to put draft and go to half or quarter. These are just to make, it's going to look pixelated, but when you upload it's not going to look pixelated. It's just, it's just like a viewer, like a practice view. But if your thing's pretty fast, you know, you can go to full or even best, you know, it depends on what um, the computer rate is. You know, some people have fast computers. Uh, I uh, also talk about how to take background off on me and so I'm gonna delete this. Alright, now. <coughs> this background you can get from these makers. Once you get it, you're gonna wanna go to video effects, then go to chroma key, and you're gonna wanna click pure green, green screen. Alright, just click this little green thing right here. All you're gonna click is love. 
bottle of wine. What the fuck that thing is? Just uh, click the background. It's gonna take the background off. You can play with it. You can make it dark. You can make it like gray color. You know, depends on how you want it. You can make the mirror back on. Make it show with purple out layer. But then you can make it show mask only. That's gonna give it like a a white kind of texture. You can make it like that. So you can just play with it for a while. This one, how you want it. You can actually change the color to it looking like this. You can have like a little glow effect. And it's gonna look pretty good. So, depends on how you want it. And you also, like I was saying, you can actually add the video effects to it. So that helps out a lot. And if you didn't know, you can actually add videos to these little lines right here. Just add track effects. And these, like the new, the dude I was gonna give you, he um, supply you with these. Like I said, all the videos. And you get all these. And I, I can actually start my video with like little TV. Now you upload your videos, you go to render ads. So when you go to render ads, you know you can name your video whatever you want to. Just make sure keep up with it. You gonna wanna make sure you want your theme video to be top quality HD, like the top notch dog. You gonna wanna click 1080p. That's the top one. Or you, you can use 720. You know, it might take less of time to upload, but you want it's like top ones 1080p. And, um, other than that, all the other ones, I haven't really used these. I don't know those are, I don't use those. You gotta want, but like, you gonna want to see you under Windows Media Video. So, um, once you're out done with that, you know, you just render it. Um, it might take long, if you have like a long video, but you know, it takes time to upload videos to get them perfect, you know, that's how it is, but that's mainly it, my video is top, that's how I do things, uh, so I just subscribe, you can like the video, depends on what you want to do. Well, I hope I helped y'all out. If you have any more questions, I'll be sure to answer your questions. So, yeah. Peace, man.